Uh, 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 don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. Ding dong ding, the bells do ring. We're bringing you news of the latest thing that has happened up on the moon. And we hurried to bring it quicker than soon, for we knew you'd be worried, and that's why we hurried in from the icy snows to tell you some more how the story goes. Now, of course, you remember little Jonathan Thomas, who has lived six years and never once broke a promise. And you remember the squee bobbles who broke all the laws and kidnapped poor old Santa Claus? And how Jonathan Thomas and the man in the moon and... And, well, of course, Gorgonzola the horse set out real soon, and they had to because, well, they've just got to rescue old Santa Claus. Well, never you mind. They'll find him yet. Oh, but we mustn't forget that wicked old witch of Rumpelstitch and how in the nightmare forest so deep little Jonathan Thomas has fallen asleep. And he wasn't supposed to do that at all, and he wouldn't if he hadn't happened to fall right off the back of the horse. But now, of course, Whiskery Bill, he's a squirrel, he tried to see if there could possibly be a charm to break the spell which the wicked old witch had woven so well. And how he found out, only goodness knows, but it turned out to be a red, red rose. So now, while Jonathan Thomas lies fast asleep and all of his friends stand round and weep, why, Whiskery Bill is way over the hill and going to the rainbow's end. For everyone knows that the brambly rose didn't have any color of red, so she told him to go through the ice and the snow for rainbow rubies, her colors to mend, and so there he goes as fast as the wind that blows. And now, before you can count up to ten, here's where the story begins again. <laughs> Double trouble, boil and bubble, and brew my magic well, for I'm in fine fettle, <laughs> oh, faithful kettle, when things to me you tell. <laughs> oh, please, Mrs. Witch, what happened to Whiskery Bill? You didn't hurt him, did you? That's not the story, and you needn't worry about poor Whiskery Bill, for though my magic is quite tragic, it is not brewed to kill. And if you think me quite the liar, then come here closer <laughs> to the fire and gaze into the bubbling brew and tell me what appears to you. Oh, I can see him. I can see poor Whiskery Bill. And, oh, look, Mrs. Witch. He must not be feeling very well because he's crying. Aha! Uh -huh. But he's not dying. Oh, please don't hurt Whiskery Bill, Mrs. Witch, because he's such a nice little squirrel. Keep watching, please, oh, Jonathan Thomas, and you'll see how well I keep my promise. For I've cast my spell very well, because you shall not rescue Santa Claus. <laughs> and if into my brew you'll gaze, you'll see how quickly pass the days. Until I alone will have much cheer. <laughs> For Christmas shall not come this year. <laughs> You're not very nice. I should know that well. You've said it twice. But keep on gazing long until you see what happens to Whiskery Bill. <laughs> what happens to Whiskery Bill? <laughs> How I've run. I've run until I'm almost done. And I'll just bet there's no other one beneath the sun that's ever run as fast as I have done. Oh, my goodness, the time has come. The time has come. I say, old boy, what did you say? I said that... Hmm? Well, well, speak up, speak up. Did I hear you correctly or didn't I? Chimney crickets and chief hulikers. What are you trying to do anyway? Scare me out of 20 years' growth? Who are you? The question, my little pipsqueak, isn't who am I, but who are you? And you'd better tell me very true. That is, if you know what's good for you. I already know what's good for me. A lot better than you do, so bah! Well, well, 
and bless me, it's very plain to see that you are not very polite, but quite smart alecky. And what I think would be good for you is to be taken down a peg or two. You just mind your own business, soul whiskers face. <laughs> Remember your place. Oh, you hush your fuss and get out of my way. Well, Lord Bodkins and by Jove, I say. Yes, and what's the big idea in stopping me anyway? Because it were my very words I heard you say. Oh, nonsense and rubbish and fiddlesticks. As plain as day I heard you say the time has come and by my et you can't do that, you know. Oh, is that so? Don't you know that I'm the walrus? So what if you are, you old fish face? Besides, I gotta run. Well, by my hat, I'm most glad of that. But don't you say the time has come for me to run, for that's my line from a very old rhyme. Of course, you might say, has come the time, or perhaps time the has come, or some such other one. Oh, for goodness sakes. Are you the one who said, the time has come, the walrus said to speak of many things, of shoes and ships and candle wax and cabbages. Sealing wax, not candle wax, you blotted wicker snackle. Well, wax is wax, isn't it? The same as pigs as pigs. Oh, I suppose so. Ah, uh, but excuse me now, I've got to go. Well, now I'd like to know why you have got to hurry so. To be quite nice, you know, I've strived. So why should you leave when you've just arrived? Because I have to go to see the Keeper of the Rainbow. Well, bless my soul, and what do you know? I know a lot of things, which is more than you do. Blimey, that's not very nice of you. Well... Oh, piss and tush, what's the rush? Why not stop for a cup of tea? Because that's why. If I do, he'll die, and then what will they think of me? Well, clump it on a griddle. What is this riddle? And what are these things you say? Who is he and Odd Bodkins? Who are these people that you call they? It's all the doings of that wicked old witch. Aha! I smell a mice. Whatever she does is never very nice. She cast a spell on a very good friend and put him fast asleep. My word and by Jove, it fairly makes my flesh creep. And there's only one way to wake him up, and that's the red, red rose. And where in the world can you get one of those? At the rainbow's end. Well, instead of going, why don't you send? It's not the rose I'm going for, it's the color. Because the brambly bush can grow white roses, but she can't grow any red. Oh, now I see. I'm getting it through me head. And I've just got to go because it's for poor little Jonathan Thomas. Right, oh, and of course, you've got to keep your promise. Wait a minute. I've got a thought. What? If you go alone... You're apt to be caught. Who's going to catch me? Why, the Jabberwocky, of course. The, the Jabberwocky? What's that? The Jabberwocky, a most vicious bird who simply adores little squirrels, or at least so I've heard. Oh, for goodness sake. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just chuck it all and go with you. Whap, whap, whap. Before we get set, do you realize we've never met? Well, uh, uh, my name is Whiskery Bill. You don't say. Why, now, that name's as tasty as an apple. And, uh, now, my name, Sir Algernon Q. Whipple Snapple. Sir Algernon Q. Whipple Snapple, how do you do? Ho, ho, ho. I was going to say that to you. Well, come on, Sir Algy. We've got to go. You said it, Whiskey, and right O. Together we should ought to find the color red. Of course we should. That's what I said. And by Jove, we'll show that witch a thing or two. 
In fact, we shan't come back until we do. Come on, Whiskers. Let's get out of here. And there will be a Christmas after all this year. Here we go, go to, to the, the rainbow to find a ruby red. To fix the witch of Rumpelstitch and drive her out of a red. Hippity skip, hip hip, and off and away we go. We'll never stop our hippity hop till we reach the long rainbow. Here we go to the rainbow to find a ruby red. To fix the witch of Rumpelstitch and drive her out of a red. Well, now, I guess we're beginning to get somewhere. What with Whiskery Bill and the walrus going together to find the red, red rose. And I'll bet they get it, too. Well, now, they've just got to, haven't they? Or else how can they wake up Jonathan Thomas in time to rescue Santa Claus for Christmas? Well, we'll find out, won't we? Maybe in the next story of Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. I'll be listening, won't you? (laughs) 